From a distance, it could have been any morning in Los Angeles. It was not. This is the busiest freeway in the United States, Interstate 10, the Santa Monica Freeway. This morning at 7.30, rush hour, it looked like this. The earthquake had buckled large sections of the freeway. It was undrivable. Later in the day, crews would begin dismantling the overpasses. Further north from 3,000 feet, it looked like any morning in the San Fernando Valley. It was not. The smog mingled with dust kicked up by a continuing series of aftershocks. Here you see the massive interchange where Interstate 5, the Golden State Freeway, connects with Highway 14, the Antelope Valley Freeway, rush hour. Normally the freeways would be full of people heading to downtown LA. Instead, they were on surface streets, barely crawling. There were pieces of freeway bridges intact, but not connected to each other. Along the coast, parts of the Pacific Coast Highway were closed because rocks and dirt and basically the hillsides had spilled onto the road. This spectacular home on the cliff was now partly on the hillside. Other homes were perched precariously with not nearly as much ground underneath them as they had two days ago. The structures made of brick were hit hard. The State Beach Cafe crumpled. The beach deserted, you couldn't drive there. And besides, for residents of Los Angeles, this was certainly not going to be any day at the beach.